Hi Cancer, this is going to be a really quick reading for you. We're going to pull love and then career and finance. Thank you for being here. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Cancer with a clear, concise message. So let's see what's going on for Cancer in terms of love. All right, so let's see love. All right, two cards came out. The Ten of Fire and the High Priestess. Okay, so um, this could have been a struggle in terms of a relationship here. You just didn't know where it was going. It could have also been kind of toxic or karmic. And, and maybe the karma is over. Maybe that karmic cycle is over between the two of you. Um, it was stressful. It was a stressful relationship. And you, you're trying to listen to your intuition um, and have patience with this person. Something about a deciding factor. Maybe making a decision about this person who there was a lot of drama with. Who there was a lot of um, toxicity Maybe even you took them for granted or they took you for granted. Maybe it was a secret relationship. It was an uphill battle. You just kept showing up to the connection and didn't know where it was going. You put in a lot of energy, effort, time. And it's just like, okay, well, are we together? Are we not? Or what are we doing? Um, there was a lot of fights, a lot of blow ups. Okay. Making somebody to scapegoat. So now there's like um, maybe separation here with the high priestess or someone's not making any effort or putting in any effort time for you or vice versa. You're not doing this. Let's see what career has to hold, has to say for uh, cancer, career for cancer, career. Okay. And we have the seven of water. All right. So career, it looks like you've got some dreams, something that you want to embark on, but this is about a wishful thinking, maybe even procrastination altogether, laziness, maybe not being serious about going after your goals here. It says, do your due diligence before you part with your money in terms of investments here. Again, back to wishful thinking and procrastination. If you have a dream, if you have a goal, you need to make some real plans in terms of seeing it through making it come to uh, fruition manifestation here because with the seven of cups it's all up in your head you're all up in your emotions about it and you need to decide here there's a lot of options and a lot of things that you can do but you need to get serious about choosing one of them so this is what i have for you cancer if it resonates for you let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section uh, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you, guys. Take care. Many blessings.